What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Ja Gorgeous Imani Jari, and we are back with another Watch Me Work Wednesday. Today, I'm doing a retwist on thick locks, but then I'm also doing a two strand twist style. So, this is the first part where we're just sectioning off the areas, each individual row. Gotta make sure that we separate the parts so that they're crispy and clean, as always. In the process of separating your new growth hair, it's very important that you reduce the amount of friction that is taking place. So, for example, if you see, I'm just naturally going through lightly with the comb to make sure that all of the strayaway hairs of the new growth that are supposed to be in this row are secure. But also, as I'm going through to separate each individual lock, if I notice that there is some tension that's not going to come apart naturally, that's when I decide to take some hair scissors, okay, appropriate scissors to just make sure that I'm snipping lightly, but also staying in the framework of how that lock is structured, making sure that I'm not doing any unnecessary cutting or I'm not thinning out the lock before I get ready to actually start the process of retwisting. So as I just previously modeled, I alternate between two major retwisted styles. The main one is a natural comb retwist. I love a good comb retwist because it helps me just make sure that I grab every single strand of hair for that lock, especially because I wear nails, but also I use the palm twisting method as well as a little bit of locksmithing because I just want to make sure that there are no hairs laying out of the lock. I just want to make sure that all the hairs are tucked all the way down the lock as well. This is just a close-up of me showing you my retwisting method again, but one thing that I will say is it really makes all the difference about who starts your locks and who you're consistently going to for your retwist because every person doesn't have the same method and every person doesn't always follow the pattern that your hair is going. So unfortunately, not every client that I have actually been able to work with this year or just in general as a client that I've been able to start their locks. So I've noticed that in many instances, just in general, when I receive new clients and I haven't started their locks, sometimes you can tell like if throughout their lock journey, the person who is maintaining their locks or the people who is maintaining their locks was only focused on maintaining the root and not the full lock. So there'll be parts of their lock it will appear like it's a mature lock but the lock is still like squishy or there's still a gap and that's simply because the lock hasn't actually been fully twisted all the way down in order to make sure that the hair is maturing and consistently forming an actual lock from top to bottom
If you haven't already, make sure that you stop what you're doing and go follow my hair page on Instagram. It's G-O-R-J-A-H-S underscore. Eventually, the name will change, so please make sure that you stay tuned with me before it does that. Right now, you can only book my services through my Instagram platform or if you have a particular app called Booksy. So please make sure that, again, you head over to my Instagram page to make sure that you're finding out all the information about how you can stay connected with more. How long does my hair have to be to do like, to like tie up the dreads and like, like do my own little styles with it? You could do it now, if you feel confident. Even after, so today we doing the two strand twists, even after you take those out, it's still gonna be like a crinkly curly situation. I would say uh, you could definitely like I'm doing now, put your hair in ponytails and things like that, but your hair, you probably will have more ponytails because it's shorter, but when it gets longer, you'll be able to fit it all up at the same time. But yeah, you can start manipulating. How long should I leave them up in the two strands? I would say no more than three weeks. Any hairstyle, I would say don't leave it in more than three weeks. Really. So you could give your scalp time to breathe. You want to make sure even when it's in the style, if you have a routine of like oiling your hair and things like that, you want to make sure that you're still doing that. And make sure that you get the roots, like your actual scalp, when you do the oil, moisturizer, and things and stuff. Before I close out this video, I just want to say thank you to those of you who made it this far. Thank you to those of you who have been tuned in every time I posted a Watch Me Work Wednesday video. I really appreciate y'all for having patience with me when it comes to my posting schedule because if you know, you know. But I just wanted to make sure that I said I appreciate y'all. I see y'all. And please continue to show up for me like y'all have been. Hit that like button. Comment down below. And make sure that you subscribe so you don't forget any more uploads. Not just related to hair care, but everything that I have coming in store for you moving forward and again before we close out this video i just want to say thank you one more time and let's make sure that we hit that subscribe button so we can continue to keep these numbers going up The very last thing that I'm going to say for this video is a breakdown of how to do a two strand twist. So if you can see very carefully, the first thing that I do is just do a light retwist to make sure that the locks are as tight as possible at the root. Then I cross over those two individual twists and essentially continue to do a twisting method all the way down to the end and then wrap it up with a rubber band at the end. And I just do that all around the head, making sure that if there, for whatever reason, is an odd amount of number of locks, then I just make that a three strand twist not a braid again a three strand twist not a braid if you need a separate tutorial on how to do a two strand twist more slowly or how to do three strand four strand twist please let me know and then i'll update that video separately but i just wanted to show you very quickly feel free to pause this video as many times as possible but that is the last thing
your barber, your nail tech, anybody that you go to consistently for any type of maintenance when it comes to beauty, healthcare, skincare, maintaining your wealth and your health. If they're not giving you any specific advice on how to maintain your progress or gain any progress in the area of growth that they're looking for, please find another person to do the job. One thing that I really pride myself in is being really transparent with clients, not just giving them generic hair advice or hair growth advice or scalp maintenance advice, but one thing I really pride myself in is making sure that I'm tailoring the advice that I give to the specific areas of need that I see in relation to the client that I'm talking to, because everything doesn't work for everybody. So with that being said, that is another perk of booking with me, because one thing I'm going to do is make sure that not only are you in the chair feeling confident while I'm doing your hair, but once you leave the chair, you're also confident in knowing how to continue to take care of your hair so that we can both be on this healthy hair growth journey together. So like I said, make sure if you live in Jersey or if you just want to more information about maintaining healthy hair care, not just for life, but for natural hair period, please make sure that you follow me on Instagram at G-O-R-G-H-S underscore or even on TikTok, gorgeous IRL, no underscore, to make sure that you can stay consistently up.